let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The Supreme Leader from the year 2001 Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the Supernatural Teacher. Golden Text sent 1 John chapter 4, verse 21. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God, love his brother also. Quote from January 1st to December 31st, I preach and demonstrate this love to you, brethren, no matter your achievement in life, if you have no love for one another, it profits you nothing. No, we do not value visions, preaching and prophecy as much as we value love. The word of God says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but the words of God will not pass away till all are fulfilled. Before we pass into another generation, by 1999, all those who do not possess this love will face the judgment. In the year 2001, we shall pass into a new generation. The generation of the reign of Jehovah God and His Christ, where only righteousness reigns. That generation will not admit any bit of sin. In that new generation, there will be no more class distinction between men and women, children and adults, white and black. All will be united into oneness in love. After every 2000 years, God always establish a new constitution. It is like the situation in Nigeria after the military reign, the civilian administration took over power. From the year 2001 onwards, Whosoever does not possess this love will never be allowed to marry, to work, or do anything to, to earn a living. There will be great punishment to sinners if ever they will be allowed to remain. Such punishments and sufferings which have never existed before the foundation of the world were laid. At the moment, there is a great spiritual war against sin in your family, in your village, town, cities, nation, and continents. For light cannot agree with darkness, neither can love and hatred agree. The reign of our Lord Jesus Christ begins fully in the year 2001 to fulfill his words which says, When the Son of Man will sit in the throne of his glory, he shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Brotherhood of the cross and star will reign forever and ever. You all have heard visions and prophecies emphasizing what will happen in 1999. That was why our Lord Jesus Christ said, this generation, this generation will not pass away before everything written in the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation come to pass. Very shortly, all those who do not possess this love towards another will never succeed in any undertaking. So it is high time you look for a black goat while it is still there. 
whether the entire world likes it or not, it must practice love one another. Now we are in revision stage for the general examination of love one another. All what people endeavor to do from the beginning of the world will end in 1999. The living will witness the reign of Jehovah God and His Christ in 2001 all over the world. It will be the reign of love, of peace and other virtues of God. From the year 2001, all the different governments of the world will surrender their governments to our Lord Jesus Christ. At the moment, there are great tribulations, sufferings, anguish, death and sickness among the children of men. But unfortunately, they attributed all these afflictions to Juju, demon, mermaid, Satan, and Lu or Lucifer. It is rather love at war against vices. Now, people should not struggle again to acquire worldly wealth, but rather should struggle to love one another. This is an opportunity to struggle to possess love and demonstrate it because if you do not possess love, you will not pass into the reign of Jehovah God and His Christ in 2001. The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of Jehovah God and His Christ and He will reign forever and ever. The reign of God is forever. So if you love God, you must love the brotherhood. There is no love even in the government of the entire world. According to the law of Nigeria, the highway robbers have to face the firing squad. After 1999, there will be no army, air force, navy, police, law courts, judges, magistrates and lawyers will no longer exist after 1999 years. All laws will be revoked and only love one another will reign supreme. This gospel sounds like a dream in your ear, but it is a reality. So many people have promised never to come to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Neither will they denounce vices, but I tell you, and in a very short time, they all will run to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star for salvation. As we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly to enable us to love one another. The entire world must practice this love. In this new kingdom, we have only one law, and that is love one another. No matter your position in life or academic attainments, if you do not have love, it profits you nothing. Whatever is your position in this new kingdom, if you do not love one another, it profits you nothing and you have no share in this new kingdom. All those who hold positions of honor in the new kingdom are those who have love because the kingdom is love. The leader of this kingdom is love. Therefore, without this love, you have no share. The carnal law, which is still in force, is waiting for the kingdom to be revealed by 2001. And then love will swallow up carnal laws completely. In the old system, one has to labor day and night in vices in order to earn a living. But in the new world, one has, no, one has to practice love 
and all other things will be given to him. Go and inform the whole world that love reigns forever and without this love the people labor in vain. When the people of the world complain of lack of peace in the family, body pains, lack of money and other problems, it is because of lack of love. For the word of God says, we know that we have passed from death unto life, into life, because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. The everlasting life God promised us is based on love one another. Once you love the brethren, you have the eternal life. Do not waste time studying metaphysics or projecting into the sun, moon, stars, and the heads in search of God. It is a sheer waste of time. Only love one another and you will see God face to face, for God is love. Examine our golden text again. Golden text, 1 John chapter 4, verse 21. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God, love his brother also. God has only one commandment, and that whosoever loves God must love his brother also. Death, sickness, poverty, and affliction has no power over all those who love one another. Eternal life is the reward for all those who love one another. Whosoever is a brotherhood and does not practice this love is in danger and whatever happens to him is his responsibility. Whatever you call Satan demon, juju, witchcraft, lucifer, or mermaid is his hatred, gossiping, fighting and other vices. This is not the generation for somebody to deceive you that if you are a member of a church that you are saved or that if you study the genealogy of the patriarch and that of our Lord Jesus Christ that you will be saved. This is the time of judgment and election of those who practice love to one another. If you do not love your enemy, it means you will not be elected. Whatever may be your spiritual gift, if you do not love one another, it profit you nothing. If you profess to love God and know Him, you have to love one another. If you say that God sees your conscience, that you love Him, but you hate your brother, how is the love of God in you? Whosoever possesses a pure heart must also love the brethren and refrain from all vices. Brethren, I will not take you further than this. A stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.